Yo, what's up, Hashtag Squad, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the Gucci Limiteds, the Gucci Limited price drop, and how my investment for a Gucci Limited profit future. Let me know your pricing, holding, and selling strategies down in the comments. Let's create a community knowledge forum where we all can share our own opinions. It also really helps to boost the video. With that being said, let's get started. Which limiteds to buy, which limiteds to sell, which limiteds to hold, and which limiteds to just not do. We'll be discussing all of this in this video. I'm going to try and cram in as much information as possible in the littlest amount of time. So let's get started with our first topic. Let's first talk about why some of the Gucci items are selling for so low. It's because of little kids and no strategy traders. Do not become a no strategy trader. Do not panic sell. Panic selling will essentially make you to lose out on profit that you could have possibly made. It's a good idea to hold most of the items for around a couple days. That's minimum. That's minimum. I repeat, that's minimum. Essentially what happens for the first couple days of a limited is it will be very rough, it will be very rocky. This is because of panic sellers. Panic sellers will want to get the item out of their inventory as fast as possible in order to make a very fast profit. When the profit isn't that much and in the end it isn't worth it. However, after a couple days of buying these Gucci limiteds, you'll see that the price will start to become more stable and start to rise. Items will essentially start to rise and this is when our profit comes in. This is going to be our profit strategy for most of them. It will be a holding strategy, it will be a hoarding strategy and stuff like that. You're going to want to hold the items for around a month or two, but this is average on most of the items, but items may vary. You should definitely do a self-assessment to see which items should be held or if you should even hold it longer because certain items do have an exception to this rule. Let's talk about how panic selling and buying can actually be a strategy in itself. When a Gucci item first becomes limited, this is when little kids will start to panic sell in an attempt to get Robux. This is your turn to buy. You want to take advantage of this naiveness to put it blunt. Buy on as early as possible to get the lowest price because it will rise over time. Now that you know most of the strategies, including hoarding, which is basically in the name, let's talk about some items that I think will turn a profit. Keep in mind that these are just predictions. So if I'm wrong, I'll take this video down. Which one can you buy? Variant 2 or Variant 1? Well, both are good in their own regards depending on which avatar you have if you want to wear them. However, if you want more profit, you should buy Variant 2. I've studied this in multiple items and let me show you. For example, take the Gucci GG Ghost Bag. The one with two dots is variant two, the one with one dot is variant one. Take another look at the Gucci GG Marmot Bag. These are the pink bags that will probably be a great investment. Again, the one with two dots is variant two, the one with one dot is variant one. With most of these items, you have to think. Would I buy this? And that's truly the truth to most of these items. Most of these items will be hoarded based on their aesthetic looks. One of the best aesthetic looks, in my opinion, is the Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag. This is one of the items that traders have said from the beginning has one of the most potential out of all the items. This item will be sold in game and you should buy variant two. Again, you should buy variant two, not variant one if you want to turn a profit. You should definitely hoard this item. I think the value will be really high. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Again, this is just a prediction. I do not know the item value, but it will definitely be higher due to the aesthetic looks of it. Great investments that you should have made were the Gucci Dionysus bag. The Gucci Dionysus bag with B was not predictable, so it's not really fair to say for that one. But the Gucci Dionysus bag variant 2 is a great investment to make. Although it peaked, the time will become more stable over time and it might rise again after the couple weeks. Overall, I say that the purses are some of the best investments that you can make because all of them will eventually rise to 1k within the following months. Remember, patience is key. This will not be an instant profit as most traders say. You're going to want to wait a couple weeks to a month to see actual somewhat profit on this so that way the Gucci hype can die down. 
It's a good idea to hoard some of the purses as we discussed earlier and definitely buy these purses now. You're going to want to buy these purses now when this video is out because the price will rise over time and this will probably be the cheapest that you're going to be able to get it or the initial price on multiple accounts. That's another way that you can get the initial price and kind of just trade it to yourself from there. If you wish to hoard, you can. I'm not going to recommend that you hoard or if you don't, that's your choice. If you don't have enough Robux, I completely understand that. Let's talk about Gucci Limiteds that you should not buy. In fact, these are Limiteds that a lot of people are going to just buy just because they're limited and it's not really fair or safe to really say that there will be a good profit on these items from what I've seen so far. I think the Gucci guitar is probably the item that doesn't have that much potential, but what does have a lot of potential is especially the headdress. I think the headdress has a lot of potential in it. Remember to follow the strategies and to not panic sell. I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it as short and concise as possible. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel to subscribe and leaving a comment. It helps more than you think. You may be small, but seriously, it does help out a lot to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you like commentary videos. So, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.